Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. This is the inaugural episode of my vlog covering uh, the events that I do on island here on the beautiful island of Guam. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Kilaiko. I am the owner of the QMS Event Lighting. It's an event lighting company. We cover a lot of weddings and also special occasions here in Guam. So along with my regular vlog uh, TV, I wanted to do a special section covering all the beautiful weddings and parties and events that I get to be a part of on this small island for such a beautiful but yet small island we do party a lot and weddings are definitely a staple for me but we also have uh, you know holiday parties and corporate events and also uh, things of island-wide magnitude. I'm gonna give you an insider look at the wedding reception of my most recent couple, Chad and Gabby Mills, uh, newly minted couple. They were so great to work with and I'm so glad that they gave me permission to cover and feature their event for my first ever vlog on this channel featuring um, one of my weddings. What I'm gonna do with this vlog is one, take you in and feature the event that actually just happened. And two, I'm gonna, along the way, I'm gonna feature also some helpful tips that prospective brides and grooms can use in their planning process, whether it be dealing with vendors like me for lighting, uh, for decor, for the whole uh, shebang. But of course, we can't give away all the tips in just one episode. So I'm just going to give you the ones that I found that were really particular and special about uh, Chad and Gabby's special day. So without further delay, let's dive in and have a look at what I shot from uh, Chad and Gabby's wedding this past weekend. Oh, oh. Hey, congrats. congrats. Welcome. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. See that? <laughs> wait, 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 see that? Oh, nice. Congratulations, you're so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, hello. 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 We stand here today, tonight, because of what the Lord has done. I thank Chad for, for letting me be a dad again. Give all glory, praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. All right, ladies.
Here's one tip. Chad and Gabby definitely had a vision for their special day. They knew everything that they wanted, including the colors, uh, the theme. They wanted to feel royal. They wanted to feel like the kings and queens of their night. And uh, we definitely achieved that with the coloring. They knew that they wanted uh, lavenders and pinks. And so you could see with the lighting colors and the picture in the background, uh, we did that for them. So they definitely had a clear picture of what they wanted thematically uh, from coloring to the style of the event. Gabby ended up coordinating a lot of the features of the wedding reception herself. And uh, so my tip with that would be is if you are doing a lot of the coordination work, the planning work on your own, you did not get a wedding planner, you did not hire one, uh, make it a point to link up your vendors together and uh, have them all compiled into a spreadsheet, contact numbers, emails, and send them all a group email announcing you know, that you are organizing your wedding and uh, it's a way to kind of just bring everybody together. All of the vendors involved in the production of your wedding day are going to have to work with each other. So it really is a cooperative thing and it's almost like we tend to have this uh, dance around each other while we're putting together the whole production from the decor to the floral. Uh, one of the things I noticed too about Chad and Gabby's wedding was that the florist was involved also with the cake design in terms of laying out the fresh flowers with the cake artist who also so happened to be the bride's cousin. So it's important to get your vendors all on the same page because we all are gonna end up having to work with each other. And so if you find all the different ways to bring us together and to open up those uh, communication channels, uh, it just makes for a great collaborative effort among the vendors in producing a wonderful and cohesive wedding event for the bride and groom. For brides and grooms, your wedding reception is uh, an artistic expression of your personalities, of who you are individually, and also who you are cohesively as a unit, as this new couple. Uh, one of the cool things I saw from Chad and Gabby was they actually got a real cool, uh, pretty renowned filmmaker here on island to do their save the date video, which was really like a movie and cinematic and gosh, it really just told a story and it really just tugged at your heart and just expressed the joy and happiness that they have being together. And that is something that is always going to be just theirs and nobody else could ever duplicate that in customizing your special day, don't be afraid to kind of think out of the box a little bit and break the mold. There are always the traditional stuff that happens in a wedding reception program, you know, the garter toss, the bouquet toss, the cake cutting. Uh, one of the unique things I saw from Chad and Gabby was Chad had a special, uh, kind of like a song performance. Now, he didn't sing, but he had a special song about uh, sunflowers and uh, he ended up uh, romantically handing stems of sunflowers to the bride while the song was playing and it was a complete surprise, not part of the program. And that was just one of those special moments that are unique to them. Last important tip I took away from Chad and Gabby was to reiterate that you know, this day goes by so quick. It's months and months of planning for many years sometimes, and yet it is always the same. It's probably just going to be a span of six hours, one night, and it goes by so quick. So enjoy the day, you know, really, really let loose and celebrate your day, your evening, and just let your hair down, take off your shoes, you know, get drunk and just have so much fun. Uh, Chad, what I noticed was just dancing pretty much while walking around, greeting people. It's all smiles everywhere. And I was so glad to see them soak it all in and take every minute that they had and fully enjoyed it. Another tip. Oh my gosh, my voice. Another tip is to do your research and check into uh, the vendors beforehand. Do as much research as you can, whether it be going to a uh, business's website. You know, nowadays a lot of things are on social media, Facebook, Instagram, I'm there. 
and just do your research and see what you like about certain vendors. Fortunate for, fortunately for me, Chad and Gabby already knew of my work and were, I mean, were fans. <laughs> So, uh, you know, it was pretty an easy uh, uh, way to just get acquainted because they already knew a lot of the things that I did and knew what to order for themselves. All right, guys, that is a wrap on Chad and Gabby. Oh, gosh, I, I, I wish all my couples could be like Chad and Gabby. Fortunately for me, I've had a great run. It's been almost seven years of being in the business and I would say 98% of my couples were a dream to work with. Uh, that's a great percentage. You can't win it all, but um, I'm just so blessed to be able to do this as my way of making a living and just making people happy on this one day. This one day that they get when they get married and, and it's just, you know, that one shot to really make it so special. So. I uh, just wanted to say thanks again to Chad and Gabby for letting me show a little bit of your special evening. And also thank you to all my couples for the past uh, almost seven years of being in business. It's been a pleasure working with each and every one of you uh, for your special days all those years that have passed. So stay tuned. Uh, I have another special wedding happening this weekend. Uh, she's a pretty uh, well-known public figure, I think, on island, uh, familiar face from TV, and she has such a great personality, so is the groom, they're so funny. Uh, I'm going to be vlogging about that too. Hopefully I'll get to vlog more, uh, and all my brides and grooms will want to be covered. Uh, this is just the first of many, and I hope you liked what you saw. There'll be more to come. Stay tuned.